like Spencer Tracy, she said, breaking into laughter. Now that I'm no longer frightened, it's much too late. I used to be shy. Not shy anymore. Oh, Nathan, aging, she cried as we embraced each other. Aging, aging. It's so very strange. This was one of their favorite books. Personally, I was never really much of a fan. Not of this book in particular. a novelty. A guest who had worn out his welcome. Decades ago. Blossoming into an understanding of a distinct idea of the adult world as something that you are not only a part of, but will soon define. Feels like I'm being preachy. I don't want to be preachy. Is there any other part of this book that's not disgusting? speak further of death and the desire, understandably, in an aging. Right. Let's speak further of death and of the desire, understandably, in the aging, a desperate desire to forestall death, 
to resist it, to resort to whatever means are necessary to see death with anything, anything, anything but clarity. It's redundant. I don't, I don't want to bring that up. Peppering of proclamations of hate from progeny to parent. Maybe. I like it. Peppering of proclamations of hate from progeny to parent. Oh, dare I. Dare I go with pervades. That pervades. Essence. Now I'm showing off. If, if you're gonna go, go big. The back and forth went on for some time. The daughter said she hated the mother. This is something that every parent must be prepared for. Ooh, it started there. Not just the isolated, angry, ephemeral thought. This is. There is a peppering of proclamations of hate from progeny to parent that pervades prepubescence and extends well into young adulthood. That will probably be edited out. the point of me bringing that up.
experienced that brief period of life together. We were inseparable. We went to the same school. of friendships such as these do not stand the test of time. friendship that boomed in the adolescent light of having nothing better to do. The adolescent delight of having nothing better to do.
just are among the deepest types of bonds. Jordan's, what did Philip Roth come up with? Come up with a lot of them. They would be mean. They would be cruel. They would likely be accurate. Philip Roth would have said this sort of bonding spurred by an as yet unrealized fear of the unknown we laugh fear as children
self-absorbed. Too self-absorbed, Kent. This isn't about me. can edit later. Whatever the reason. Our friendship. sentences and short paragraphs in want of affirmation. We did our catching up and our reconnecting. Touchstones are important. Life.
sounds dumb. But I'll forge ahead for now. There's more time. that my friend had begun to lose pieces. Eventually, it will begin to stick in your head as it did in mine. That these are not isolated incidents, but part of a larger process. As communication did become more, no, as communication became quicker, easier. increasingly difficult to relate as ironically as the methods of communication became quicker easier 
easier and more ubiquitous. Does that energy go? Why does it feel so tangible? Ships eventually have most, if not all, of their boards replaced. Are those ships still the same ship? The answer is. Consensus. Quality of 
Oops. I did not match that uh, field. But my friend is still my friend. apologize for any inconvenience this letter may cause you. You may not remember our meeting at Shea Stadium. I was with my oldest son, who is now a first-year college student, and you were out with some friends to see the Mets. That was ten years ago. The era of Carter, Gooden, Hernandez, when you could still watch the Mets, but you can't anymore. I'm writing to ask if we might meet sometime to talk. I'd be delighted to take you to dinner in New York, if you would permit, permit me. I'm taking the liberty of proposing a meeting because of something I've been thinking about since my father died last year. He was 96. He was his feisty, combative self right down to the end. That made it all the harder to see him go despite his advanced age. I would like to talk about him and his life. I've been trying to write a tribute to him to be published privately for friends, family, and business associates. Most everybody thought of my father as indestructible, a thick-skinned man on a short fuse. That was far from the truth. Not everyone knew how much he suffered because of the shocks that befell his loved ones. Please be assured that I will understand if you haven't time to respond. Sometimes take comfort we are sometimes told to take comfort in the reality that no matter what happens experiences cannot be taken away experiences are fragile, are as fragile. 
fragile as the memories of those who had them. Doubt. My friend remembered the time we found dirty magazines in a trash can and subsequently. time time and the elements rendered them into pulp. Likewise time the elements had rendered my friends personal dearest. experiences into a pulp worthless gray gelatinous neurons firing without order or left me as the sole repository of that most
not yet seen her. time it takes for carbonation to escape. So I will have children. no siblings. My friend has no more parents, no one to remember them to others. ultimately means nothing. We become a handful of thoughts in the labyrinthine depths of millions.
sure. 